Hey guys, it's Super Bowl Sunday and I'm rooting for the 49ers. So what are you guys rooting for? Comment down below. Um, let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Alexa Board here and today I brought my fiance to say a few things and what are you guys doing on Sunday? Because we're gonna have a Can little. Just sit along with the video, please. Um, I just want to get this over. With. We're gonna get a long. A, a, we're gonna have a little small, uh, party just me and him. Um, today I brought him because there's a lot going on online, and I wanted to clear things up. And before we start, I want to say happy Sunday, and I hope everyone's having a great Sunday. So we're gonna get started. So, make sure you subscribe, and I will let my fiance go first. I forgot what I was, what I was supposed to say. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, he was going to say stuff about the bullies online. I forgot what the topic was, what we were talking about. How you guys treat me, and I'm getting really tired of you guys taking my stuff. And it's so stupid, and that's what he was gonna say and stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, she wanted me to defend her. Um, basically, I don't think it's fair, but also I've said previous before, it's everybody's right to do what they want. I mean, shouldn't be allowed, but I can't really do nothing about it except say that it shouldn't be done, pretty much. So. And it would be nice if you guys could just leave me alone and worry about your content. I know it's he said she said but i'm getting tired of getting bullied online you know all that stuff that happened before it was a year or two ago and it's old news why can't you guys just go live your lives and stop living mine you know i'm trying my hardest to be happy and i feel like you're trying to ruin our relationship when you okay you gotta stop with that because they're not trying to they don't really care about our relationship they don't they're not trying to do that they don't care about our relationship you gotta stop with that though i know like, they don't care about a relationship. They don't. I just want to say that. Because that's been bugging me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, proceed, I guess. He just wants it to stop, to be honest. Look, I don't really care either way. I just don't really want to keep having to say anything because it doesn't do anything to anything. It doesn't solve any problems. I keep telling you that, but I just don't think it gets... I don't think anybody understands it. Like, yeah. It doesn't solve anything by me saying anything or me telling them to stop it doesn't you know phase anything so i you know, i don't say anything like one thing i want to say real quick guys is what do you want from me like seriously because i'm not that 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 person that likes to be treated differently i know i have a disability i know i'm different than others but why do you guys keep continuing to think it's okay to bully someone online? I mean, you're wasting your breath. You're wasting your life. And how would you like if I did that to you? Which I haven't bothered anyone in, a, in, a, in like three months, I guess you can say. I mean, well, your disability doesn't really excuse your behavior. That's what I think their main, one of their main issues is too, which you, why you say you do something, you get called out and you say you have a disability. I think that's what their one of their issues is with you. You always say tend to say you have an intellectual disability. That's that, you know, your disability doesn't, you know, fix your problems. Calls say you can't. Basically, what I'm saying is you can't just say you have a disability and all your problems and stuff that you cause and have done go away. Basically, that's what there's. I think that's one of the problems they have also. I'm not using my disability as <clears throat> a crutch. And that's another thing too. I think they seem to have a problem with i mean i understand where you guys are coming from and i do take responsibility of the things i have done yes but i haven't bothered anybody to the point where you guys have to come after me well i don't think it's that i just think it's um before. i would i know no i'm saying you're saying they're saying that you're bothering people but i don't i don't i don't, I don't know i'm not bothering people check my content i'm not bothering people just let you all know my face is still red it's clearing up um what else um i am going to be vlogging sam's mart 
um grabbing a, a, a jar of a jar of salsa that's all yeah sauce you got the no salsa we salsa to grab it the other day at the store yeah because they didn't have it they didn't have the one that we needed so hopefully sam smart will have what we need probably i gotta nice. do my eyebrows guys my eyebrows are like bugging me um let's see it's it's a it's a cloudy day outside of rain this morning um i did i just want to say that uh, you guys can say whatever you want i don't care but you guys don't want me to react to you please stop telling me what i can and cannot do on my content i'm not trying to be rude taking my stuff is not solving anything um but like i said i'm gonna ignore it and do my own content and i you know i'm proud of you know my man for saying what he had to say um you know he will defend me if he wants to he's i'm not making him say all this he decided to say this himself and yeah, but you still gotta still gotta be able to be held accountable in some ways too like i do okay let's say i do i am accountable for what i did no i said you still have to be held accountable in some ways like you still have to understand that like, yes you may think you're not doing anything wrong, but in some ways you are doing stuff wrong. And I shouldn't be doing it. But, yes. I mean, you gotta you gotta learn from your mistakes. That's why, you know. I mean, you know, you live and you learn, basically. Yes, there's some things that I'm doing Same. that that people don't like. Yes, and I'm, Absolutely. and I apologize for that. You know, I'm not perfect. No one's perfect in this world. Everybody's different in their own way. I do stuff that I shouldn't have and I do take accountability for what I have done and now I feel like it's been over a year almost two year almost two years I think or a year that this happened and I changed a lot I don't bother people and you know when I do my videos he's sitting in the living room on the couch and he knows that I'm not doing anything wrong I'm not always in the living room on the couch when you do your videos not all the time but when he is on the couch watching me do my hauls and stuff and talk a little bit I'm only doing hauls. I'm doing my unboxing. I'm not bothering nobody. So if you guys could just give me a break. If you want me to leave you alone, please leave me alone. I think that's fair. But like I said, you know, he will always defend me in certain ways. I know he'd made videos about this before. I asked him to come on with me to talk for a few minutes and he can say what he wants, yes. Go ahead. I wasn't going to say nothing. Oh, and he just, he, he doesn't want to see me get bullied, but I know, let me finish. I know I have to gonna say anything. I'm just uh -huh. sitting here talking. To I know I have to take com accountability for my actions and I do. I'm not, I know I did wrong. I know people are saying don't play with kid toys, but he bought them for me. That's another thing. You guys think I bought those. He bought those for me and I'm paying him back for it. And Play-Doh, anybody can play with Play-Doh. Anybody. It's not, you know, I play I have anxiety. And to be honest, Play-Doh helps my anxiety. Just to let you guys know. It helps anxiety. So before you come on my comments and say Stay that I bought that, bit. he bought those for me. He can tell you himself. Yes, I did. I bought, you know, it was only one pack. I bought the, yeah, yeah. it was the one pack. Yeah, I bought that. And he bought me the squish, the two squishimals yes the majority of the stuff that you get i do buy yes and i do pay him back for it and i do get him stuff all the time well we're gonna get off here guys because it's get it's like sprinkling it's outside sprinkle that's all just finish the video you don't have to get off so soon okay well i'm oh. gonna stay on for a little bit longer um why are you getting off so abruptly like that i'm not calm down so I'm here fine. we go so i'm gonna say this real quick guys <sighs> bullying somebody online and I'm going to say this and get this off my chest real quick. Bullying, attacking and bullying someone online is not the answer. But Now, there have been times, there have been times where you have done it to people. Yes, I have. And you have to, you have to, you have to accept that, that maybe in a way that they're doing it now to you is in a way that it's coming back to you that you have done it to people. Not being mean, mm -hmm. not being harsh. No, I'm talking to you, not being harsh to you. I'm just simply saying maybe in a way that since you had done it to certain people that since it's happening since they're doing that with the videos now maybe that in a way 
it's coming back to you that you have done it to them to certain people yes i have but not being harsh or ignorant or i know I'm yes being honest i you. have done it to certain people but you don't have to keep reminding me guys no, okay nobody's reminding you i'm just i'm just saying I'm just, let me just say this real quick guys if you don't see me talking about you in my <clears> videos <throat> or see you or, or see me say anything or be mean to anybody there's no reason to take my video and the people i'm talking about are no longer on youtube as our i'm aware i don't think are no longer on youtube so i mean he can tell you himself if i'm not doing anything to nobody don't take my videos well, like i said i'm not around you 24 7 so i don't know what you're doing on your phone or computer do you think it's right for them to take my videos if i'm not doing anything i mean if you're I, I I mean, if you're doing stuff to them, I think it's fair, yeah. But if I'm not, then don't. Yeah, if you're not, then don't. But if you're doing stuff to them, then yeah, they. I mean, it goes both ways. If you're doing stuff to them, they have every right to do. But if you're not, then they're not going to do anything to you. They they even said it themselves before. If they're if you're not bothering them, then they're not going to bother you. But if you're bothering them and purposely calling them out or whatever to them. To get their attention then they're gonna go out of the way to do stuff and you know to you like it, it just it's works both ways basically he's not all. sticking up for me or you guys i'm, not, I'm just simply saying yeah. if somebody does something to somebody then they have every right to do something to them it everything works both ways but to life. be yeah to be honest i do want to take your videos guys because of what you're doing to me but i decide not to because it's not worth it I try to ignore you and do my own content. Um, and I just want to clear out one thing. I didn't like the fact that this person kept saying on his live. I'm not saying who you are. Um, say the name. I'm sure they knew who you're talking about already. Saying on their live that that he don't want kids. We already discussed. Let me finish. That's not even that big a deal. I know. We already discussed that I don't want kids anymore, to be honest myself. I thought about it. I don't. Because, like I told you, I don't want to go through the the emergency surgery like I did with my daughter. I'm I'm not doing that again. It was too scary, and I'm not taking that risk. And I decided to get a doll or reborn, whatever is cheap, whatever I can do. And, you know, so please stop saying that he doesn't want kids. We both agreed that we're going to go a different way. And he can tell you himself. That's not why we discussed it. That's not the reason we came up with. I told you the reason. I know. You know why we changed our minds. Yeah, and I anyway, even if we want a kid or not, I don't want no more kids. I don't want to take that risk again. Even if we decide to try in the future, no. Because what if I have surgery and what if I don't survive the surgery? Like I'm not gonna take I'm not risking my life for that. So I'd rather just live my life and be happy. So we're gonna get off here guys, cause we got to go. So, vote for your favorite team down below. It's the Chiefs and the 49ers. And you know, I'm going to get going because I'm a 49ers fan. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.